Get any sound from the AV King. Just going to be covering the difference of a IWV interactive whiteboard. That will be this here in the video, which I'll be playing shortly, and a IFP, which is what I'm currently writing on, the interactive flat panel. So we'll just watch a little bit of the video and we'll um, get started. Hi, Sean from MBTV. Just a quick video to show you the, um, some things you can do with the interactive Epson short throw projector. So this model has a finger touch unit here as well. So we can actually use our finger uh, to do various things. Right. Draw a red line and change it to a thick red line. So this is just solved with the inbuilt um, Epson tools for this projector here. We'll just stop it there. So what's happening here in the video is the, well, oh, just put it on our pen. And we'll just get nice blue. This here is just a whiteboard. This is what's doing all of the hard work, these two items here. This is the short throw projector which is where you can see the images coming from. And this little panel here is creating the, the, the touchscreen technology required to do what Sean is doing in the video. As you can see, I can recreate everything that what Sean does with this um, interactive flat panel as well. Um, really, actually, I guess the comparison will draw between the pros and cons of both. They essentially serve the same purpose. The only difference would be this TV is a 65 inch and the whiteboard with the short throw projector is a 98 inch. So if you're looking for size, if size, that was my hand that just interfered with that, just undo. Make sure you use your pen because the pen is a smart pen and my hand is not that smart. 98 inch. The benefits of the whiteboard simply is size. Um, the benefits of the TV is maneuverability. You can mount it to the wall or you can mount it on one of these brackets which wheels around. So really it depends on the requirements. Cost is essentially the same. So for some in schools they want to go for the larger whiteboard setup. Bearing in mind that when you do set it up it is fixed. You can't move it around. With the TV, you have the option of having a bracket that allows for it to go up and down the wall, fixed to one setting, or you can have the wheels. You can actually get all of the information you need and more from our website that covers some of the stock that we hold and some of the more technical information if you want to geek out. And you can also contact us via our main website, AV King, give us a call and uh, get us to give you a free, um, no obligation quote for a booking of one of the two. And that's the lot.